Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to see various interesting facts such as architecture, how the shell works, what are the components etc. So you might have seen something like this screen whenever you log in to your Unix box. How it works internally and what this Unix system is, those are the things we are going to learn in today's tutorial. So let's start today's tutorial. So you want to know what is this black screen? It is called as a terminal. So for example, once you log into the your system, your Unix system, it will open one terminal for us to work on. So this kind of black screen, if you want to change the look and feel of this terminal, you can just go to the edit, go to the preference and you will see uh, use dark theme variant. So just uncheck it. So whenever you uncheck it, it become a white screen. So it's up to you if you want a black screen or if you want a white screen. So let's go with the default theme that is white screen default. So, so we saw that Unix terminal screen. So let's learn about that terminals or kernel. So in today's tutorial, we are going to see what is shell, what is kernel and the architecture of Unix. Let's first start with the Unix definition or what is the Unix? Unix is an operating system. For example, Windows is an operating system. On the same line, Unix is also operating system. It is a set of programs that act as a link between the computer and user. So operating system, it is the definition of the operating system where how end users like the people like us interact with the computer and that interaction happens with the operating system. So there will be set of programs, set of commands will be there that will be used by users to interact with the system. And here it comes with the Unix in a picture. If you want to know a little bit uh, history about this Linux or Unix, here it is mentioned. Unix is developed in 1969 by a group of AT&T employees. Linux, Solar Unix, AIX, HP Unix and BSD are few flavors. It is multi-user system and multitasking environment. Most of the operating systems support this kind of functionalities multi-user and multitasking to achieve the better usage of your system then what is shell shell it, it is a component of unix operating system where users communicate with the operating system through this program which is written in the shell operating system in Unix world is also called as a kernel. So kernel is a another word for the operating system in Unix. Shell is a command line interpreter. For example, in Windows system, if you have the notepad where you, or if you have any install, a communication channel between two systems. For example, if you are using the chat messenger between two people, the chat messenger itself has its a uh, Interpreting, interpreting logic for the each sentence. On the same line, what are the logic we write in the shell script or the shell or what are the commands we write on the shell that are interpreted by the Unix operating system. So it is the way of providing the commands to the Unix operating system. Shell translates commands provided by the users and converts it into a language that is understood by the kernel or in other words Unix operating system. Examples of shell are C shell, bond shell and con shell. These are the few there will be another there will be some more flavors of the shells. So what are the black screen you saw just the start of this tutorial or the white screen you saw it's a nothing but a shell. What is kernel? Kernel interacts with the hardware means your op 
computer system. It is responsible for the memory management, task scheduling and file management. So additionally, means as a user, we don't have to worry about the memory management. We don't have to schedule a task or we don't have to worry about the file management. All these three major activities will be handled by the kernel or operating system. Then what is the architecture of the Unix operating system? Assume that, so what are the white space we can see? It is the user space from, from that user will interact with the hardware. So hardware will be the core part of the Unix operating system. It will be very inside. On top of the hardware, we'll be installing the operating system and that is called as a kernel. So hardware will be the core component. On top of, we'll be installing the operating system that is kernel. And on that kernel, we'll have the shell. So when we have the shell, so it gives the privilege or access to various commands, commands such as env, pg, bash, that is bash, which command, more, cut command, csh command, ksh command, ed command, sh command, vi command, as command, cpp command, comp command, these are the few. There will be n numbers of commands or the utilities will be available to interact with the hardware through kernel. Assume that if you have, so you have installed the shell or you got the shell access, now you will be having the various applications. The applications which interacts with the hardware using the shell command through kernel. There will be mail service, there will be FTP service which is also interact with the hardware through the shells command using kernel. There will be DBMS application which also interacts with the data or hardware through the AS or CCP, CPP or COMP command through the kernel. So there will be other kind of application which will use few of these commands or other commands to interact with the hardware. But each application has to go through the shell through the kernel to reach out to the hardware to work its functionality. So application sends some command, then kernel interprets those commands into the machine understandable language and it work, the hardware will be used to work on it. So this is very simple and straightforward architecture of Unix. There will be so many other commands along with these commands we will be going to see in our upcoming sessions. So I hope you understand what is the basic architecture of the Unix. This is the simplest uh, way and most of the architectures are about the uh, Unix architecture will be similar. I hope this tutorial will be a good start to understand the Unix system. Keep watching this space for more videos on Unix tutorial. Thank you and have a nice time.